hello guys and welcome back to my channel this is the most excited i've been to film a video <laughs> i have wanted to film this for so long if you've not seen by the title of the video this is our nursery tour baby is due in less than two weeks now if you've seen a couple of my videos before you will have seen that we were waiting on a few bits of furniture and i didn't want to film without them just because they've really just tied the room in but yeah me and jamie have literally done this whole room but yeah me and jamie have literally like put our hearts <laughs> into this room like we just we've painted all the walls ourselves we've built all the furniture ourselves like everything in it we've picked ourselves that like we've had it's all been us and like i don't know i'm just really proud of it so yeah i hope you guys love it as much as we do if you don't please don't tell me because i'm a hormonal wreck and it would actually ruin me um so yeah without further ado i'm gonna put in the description box every link or let you know where everything is from and as like i walk through i'll tell you where things are from but yeah so this is the room. So I'll start with kind of like where we started with. So we started with, we liked the theme of bears. <laughs> I basically had an obsession with anything bear related, bear related clothes, toys, anything like that. So we kind of thought we could make the nursery bear themed. So we decided to paint this wall kind of like a darker brownie colour like a teddy bear and then these walls just cream um to kind of yeah give off like a teddy bear effect so we painted all the walls i'll find the names of all the paints we used and pop them down below but that was kind of like our starting point and then we had to kind of find furniture that matched the kind of brownie a lot of baby furniture is kind of either light wood or white and these walls aren't white they're kind of like a cream and then we've got brown. Yeah, we went with the Cuddle Co set. I will link the exact one down below. Um, but it was just perfect. What actually really sold us on these sets was the matte black handles. We already had matte black plugs in the room before. So we wasn't going to change them. Um, and yeah, it was just like the perfect... That's my shadow in the way. But it was just kind of like the perfect shade of wood. So yeah, all of the kind of three-piece nursery set is from cuddle co we built this all ourselves we actually built this in one night <laughs> i think i got some clips if i've got some clips of us building it i will insert them but yeah that is where they are from and then this crib is actually a cot bed so it lowers down as he gets older and then and then the sides come off and it turns into like a small single bed so hopefully we will have this for years i'll show you inside his little wardrobe so this I've tried to make it as neat as possible but honestly how his stuff is overflowing already I don't know and um, I got these little hangers from Etsy again I will tag the name down below but obviously that says newborn so I've hung all of his newborn bits up and then naught to three months three to six months and then I've got six to nine and one year all the hangers I got from Ikea and then I've got the monitor at the back, the carrier, there is little earmuffs and then these are like trousers and stuff that I've not been able to wash or hang up yet. How cute are these? These are just from Next. I know he's not going to be in these for like a year and a half but I couldn't not pick them up. He's got some cool trainers which if you want to kind of see things we've got for him so far let me know and I'll do that in maybe another video. But yeah, that is his little wardrobe. And then I got this blanket from Etsy as well. I don't think it's going to stay draped <laughs> over the cot. I'm thinking more well, that would be really good for the pram or something. But yeah, I've just kind of draped it over there for the minute. Then moving around to this little corner. This gives me anxiety. I don't know what I'm going to do about it down here because I can't deal with the wires this nappy bin is the ugliest thing I've ever seen, but obviously you need one. So I'll get into that. The lamp is from Next Home. Again, I'll link it down below. Um, and yeah, we went with the Tommy 
tippy nappy bin. I kind of want to like paint it black <laughs> or something just to tie it into the room because I don't know, it's just so ugly. And then as for changing mat, we went for the snuggle kind of foamy mat. We just thought this would be really easy to wipe down. You know, like if he wheezes, it just travels down and collects at the bottom. Um, so yeah, that's the one we went for. Currently all of his like cr nappy creams and stuff are in the hospital bag, but that's where all of his like creams and stuff will go. This is from H&M. The nappy caddy, I've spoken about these on a vlog before I think, but the nappy caddy is also from H&M. That is all ready to go. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've just kind of left that there. And then for the room thermometer, we've got Misty the Cloud from Sweet Dreamers. And this teddy is the one, I believe, with his heartbeat in, if I can do it one-handed. <laughs> so yeah, we've just put him behind there for now. But yeah, we're gonna have to move the room thermometer into our room because obviously he'll be sleeping in our room for six months. Yeah, I wanted to keep it in here just so I can get an idea of like what times of the days we might need to turn the heating off, turn it on, things like that. Then move in to this little corner. So this mirror is literally just from Amazon. It was really cheap. I think it was like 50 pounds. Um, ideally, I would like it a little bit bigger. I think it gets, it doesn't get lost, but I think, I don't know, I think it would look better a little bit bigger but we ordered it put it up on the wall and we was like it was too late to do anything about it um so yeah it still just adds something to that wall and then we've got the nursing chair so the nursing chair is from mamas and papas and both these cushions are from next home i literally picked these cushions up yesterday knowing that the nursing chair was coming and i was like i just feel like it's going to need something and i can't believe how perfectly <laughs> they go like they tie in the room so nice um so again if i can find the links for those cushions i'll link them down below i'll link the chair down below the only thing to note with the chair is we ordered this back in it was either the end of november or the very beginning of december and it's only just come it was like a 12 week wait so just bear that in mind i actually think the delivery is a little bit quicker now i think it might be six weeks but I know for sure you've got to pre-order this chair. So, so that was the hold up on the nursery tour, guys, was the chair. It did actually come a little bit early, to be fair. Um, I thought the baby was going to beat the chair here. <laughs> so, yeah, small wins. And then moving to these little prints. I picked these up on Etsy. I tried to get the link for one of my friends the other day. And the Etsy sellers stopped selling them. So there are loads of similar ones. I'll link a similar one down below. Um, but yeah, this was like the teddy bear vibe that we was going for. And we tried to tie in the colours as much as we could. So we was kind of going for like these dark colours with the wall. And then, and then the like creamier colours with this wall. And then the frames that they're in are from Ikea. The mattress we went for as well is Cuddle Co. I'm pretty sure he's called Ewan. <laughs> Ewan the Sheep. He is also from Sweet Dreamers and he plays like white noise and is also a nightlight. So I've just popped him in there for now. When the baby's actually sleeping in the cot, he won't stay in the cot. Um, or like prop him up somewhere else in the room. But for now, he's just sat pride in place. And these are just a couple of bits that we don't know what to do with yet that are just <laughs> sat in here. And then we have the little book corner. So the shelves are from Ikea. They are actually a light wood, but we had some paint left over from the walls. So we actually painted them ourselves. And trust me, they look so much better. We had one up and we just didn't like them. Like, because the wardrobes and stuff are more of like a grayy brown wood, the light wood just wasn't working. So we painted them ourselves. And then I got this once upon a time off of Etsy as well. If you think the time looks not quite as neat as the once upon a, that is because Willow had to have her own little stamp on the nursery and she chewed the time to pieces. I'll insert a picture of what Will's done to it, but I basically rewired it to say time myself. Um, so yeah, it's not quite perfect, but it's Willow's little stamp to the room, you know? She had to, she had to make her mark somehow. Um, so yeah, this is his little book corner. We do have a TV, so 
the TV was already in here. That's why we've put the nursing chair here so that if we're ever sitting, we can just chill out, watch TV, feed him and stuff in here. And then I think we kind of need like a bedside table to go either side of the nursing chair just for if we've got any drinks or to put like bottles and stuff. Like I, I think that's missing, but that's not been top on our priority list, obviously. I'll show you inside his drawers. So I've, I've tried to do this as strategically as I can. This whole section is newborn. This row is just all short sleeve bodysuits. This row is sleep suit, so long sleeved with mittens and feet. And then this row is sleep suits as well, but without the mittens and without the feet. Then we've got about 50 muslins in here. Um, these little separators are from Ikea. The, the only annoying thing about these is the Ikea separators are obviously made for Ikea drawers. So they don't fit perfectly. So I've just kind of had to make work what I can. I've popped some bibs behind there. And then he's got hats and there's some mittens in here. And then these are his socks. And then go in to the next one. This is just working my way up the ages. So, so these are all naught to one month. So these are probably gonna like get mixed up, but these are naught to one month. Again, I've got short sleeve bodysuits and then sleep suits. These are all of his little leggings and his trousers. And then this is where we get to naught to three months. Um, obviously when he's in naught to three months, he won't be a newborn anymore. So I'm gonna kind of just try and <laughs> circulate things around and then down here we have spare nappies, spare wipes, and his sleeping bags and swaddles and stuff like that. And then the last thing I will take you in is there is an ensuite bathroom to this bedroom. It's like Jack and Jill with another bedroom. This bathroom's not got a bath, so I'm literally just using this bathroom as storage for him. So I've washed all of his towels, so they're up here, and then I've got his like sponges, flannels, ear thermometers, nail files, um, some spare lotions, body washes and stuff. And then these are spare sheets and wipes. So yeah, I'm just kind of using that as toiletry storage for him. Bathing him in here, you'll have all seen this bathroom. This is my bathroom. But yeah, I've got that angel care bath, so he'll be bathed in here. And then I've got already started kind of like his bathing stuff but i'll just be bathing him with water for the first i don't know six weeks to two months so yeah this is where bath time will happen but look at those dots from my phone case but yeah his nursery is literally just over the hall and then finally the only other thing i wanted to show you guys was the next to me that we're going for so we went for the snooze pod we got it in this kind of gray color because that matched our room the best. Obviously he's gonna be in that for kind of six months. So we matched that more to our room. Our room's got, we've got like a gray headboard. I'm just in one of the spare rooms at the minute. Um, and then this has got like, again, white noise, a nightlight, I believe. That is what will be in our room and what he'll sleep in at first. It's all ready to go. All the sheets are washed, just ready and waiting now. Sorry, there was one more thing I wanted to show you while we're talking beds. So this is the same nappy caddy as upstairs, but this is the one we're gonna keep downstairs. And then I've got these little things in here. They'll come out again when he's in there. But I actually picked this Moses basket up in a charity shop for 10 pounds. So yeah, this is just your little sign to look into your charity shops because we picked this up, it was 10 pound. We bought a fresh mattress and fresh sheets because if you're not aware, you need to have a new mattress. My mum kind of like deep cleaned everything else. It comes off as well, so it doesn't have to stay on the stand. We can move it around. But yeah, this was £10 from a charity shop. So just keep an eye out in places like that. Somebody actually asked me as well, we got the mattress from a place called, I want to say it's like Claire de Lune. Again, I will link it down below. Moses basket's actually from there too. So I can link the Moses basket. I mean, like I said, I got it from a charity shop, but I can link it down below as well. I'll try and find it. We bought our pram the other day. Honestly, not part of the nursery tour. 
but I'm now just recommending all the things that I've bought. So yeah, that is the nursery tour. I know I'll definitely have left details out in places and stuff like that. So any questions or anything like that, let me know down below. Like I said, I'll try and link as much as I possibly can. I feel like there's definitely things that maybe need adding to the room, like the side table here, we thought about adding a rug, but there is actually also the possibility that we're not gonna be here come June. Um, and he may never sleep in this room. Hopefully that's not the case. But yeah, we didn't wanna go like too OTT with that in mind. So yeah, we've kind of tried to keep it at like the bare minimum without it being the bare minimum. I hope that makes sense. But yeah, that is the nursery tour. Like I said, I hope you guys love it as much as we do. We just wanted like a really chilled, warm like room and I think we've done that especially it just being me and Jamie literally just like picking things we liked and stuff like I said I hope you guys love it as much as we do um yeah we've just kind of like it's been a really fun like exciting project for us to just do the two of us everything in here has just been me and Jamie like we've built the lamp we've built the wardrobes the cot the put the shelves on the wall like like everything's just been us just can't wait to have him in here now <laughs> that is everything from me so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video